on the paper. Where the hell is my couch at? How the hell am I about to get this upstairs? These guys that should have did their job, they didn't do their job. Like, the devil be trying me, but then God is like, girl, I got your back. And stop being chicken. My fire again. <laughs> Alright. Stella's watching me do this. Sorry in advance. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be... I think a little spend the day with me, something along those uh, lines. I am actually, it's 12, 16. They had just left, I just went in, we just went to the dumpster to throw out my old computer desk that I had got from Ikea, um, because y'all yeah, know I got that new desk from Amazon. I'll probably come back home and cut some layers into my hair in the front um, to kind of shake my face better. But if you're new here, hey girl, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So I went and got my nails done yesterday. I'm trying to be a little festive for Christmas. Y'all know your girl only really like a cute little French tip. But I told her to do some um, snowflakes. So she did snowflakes, super cute design. And then she put like some actual like powder on it. So like if you touch it, it's kind of like glitter, like glitter powder, if you will. So yeah, super cute. Absolutely love that. Today on the to-do list, I would like to get a PO box today. Um, I need tampons, pads from Target, baby wipes. I think I was talking about that in my last vlog, didn't get it. <laughs> um, I also need ink for my printer because today we're also going to be making my 2024 vision board. I also need some wrapping paper and I need to call and get my refund again for my um from overpaying on like my sales tax or whatever so yeah we're really just going to go to target i hope they have my ink let me look on target website i am supposed to be getting a delivery by 12 30 it's 12 18 so i've been kind of lingering around the house trying to wait on that and it's actually really hot i got my heat on let me turn this fan on because i usually print out my pictures for my vision board through office depot but i need more ink in my printer anyway and i'm like i can just save money so yeah i need number 67 tri-color we're gonna go to tarjay pick up some stuff i'm gonna be making my vision board got a few errands to run i want to open a p.o box so i can give to y'all a lot of y'all used to send me um either like products your business stuff. Um, I actually got my first ever Christmas card from one of my subscribers and I think 2021, I literally actually still got I it. I literally still got it, this is it. I was putting up some stuff. So this was from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is crazy. Um, her last name was Hall. First name started with an F. I think it's Frank, I don't know. But she sent me a Merry Christmas card. This was like in 2021 and literally she was just like merry christmas i love your channel wishing you a memorable christmas filled with special moments so that literally was like the highlight of my entire like christmas and everything because it was so unexpected um that was my first time ever receiving like i don't even want to say fan mail like family mail i should say because we are all a family here but that was like my first time ever receiving just like a cute little you know just a card or something from a subscriber so i really really like that um so that's why i want to go get a, another p.o box um so you guys can send me stuff and just to have one because i need one for these brands and stuff like that so especially the brands that like i don't really tr like sometimes reading emails and stuff it can be kind of tricky about what's real and what's not real and giving them like my actual address to be a little tricky sometimes but some stuff don't directly come to my apartment like it'll go like to the front office at the amazon hub or whatever but yeah we're about to go ahead and head out um it's 12 22 it said they're supposed to be here at 12 30 for my package they still isn't here i bet right when i leave i'm gonna have the package outside but yeah it's fine and it was coming from texas so let me see it said it was on the truck at 6.58 to be delivered, and it says it'll be here by 8.30 to 12.30 p.m. It's coming from Lancaster, Texas. So, yeah. I'm just about to go ahead and head out because I don't want to be out all day. And like I said, I am trying to do the P.O. Box. I was online doing the P.O. Box, so I can't remember how I did it the last time. Like, 
I don't know if I like signed up there or if I signed up online. So I just bought my PO box online. I'm about to print out this letter document. The two forms of ID. It said I need, um, basically I'm gonna take my driver's license and it said either my like insurance card or lease agreement, something like that. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna print out my insurance card as well. <laughs> Cause the one I got, the ink wasn't, like it didn't print too well. So I need ink real bad. See, like my printer's not printing. And it says I still have ink. Where is my paper? the paper I don't understand like what's the point of having a printer if the printer don't work this is literally the only thing that it just printed out and it just printed me out five pages literally I need all of this stuff printed out and it printed out the link I don't understand it said I'm low on ink but girl right here look at that does that not show some ink I'm like come on now now I gotta go to freaking Office Depot to print out my stuff and it's 12.38 and I still ain't got no package because where my stuff is? Nothing. I'm about to just go ahead and go and do what I gotta do because it's already pissing me off and I'm trying to stay in good spirits today. Girl, not me pulling out my apartment complex and then FedEx pulling in. Oh my gosh. So I think I'm just about to turn back around and go home. Uh, see, I knew it. They literally just, I'm about to turn around. I'm about to go home, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my apartment, and then we gonna come back out. It's only 12.43, and I haven't ate anything either, so I'm about to warm up my food that I cooked last night, and I'm about to eat that. And girl, I done turned out here with all these pretty houses. I cannot wait to come look at some houses. I need to turn around, though. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. Literally pulling out and FedEx is pulling in. So I'm about to just turn around. Oh, these houses are so stinking cute. Do y'all ever just go and ride around and look at houses? Because um, yeah, I do. That's one of my very, very fun hobbies that I like to do. All right, I'll talk to y'all when I get back to the house because I'm pretty sure they gonna be coming delivering my stuff soon girl now why i say it's gonna be delivered by end of day <laughs> i should have just stayed on course with what i was doing so after i eat my food because i do need to stop just starting to record and vlog and not eating because yeah it's not good so i'm gonna eat my food and then i'm gonna go to my office i forgot we got a business center i'm literally paying for all of these amenities and i'm not using them like literally got an upstairs downstairs gym got a movie theater got a uh, uh, games rooms and stuff we got a business center a library study room like all of this stuff <laughs> i'm not utilizing it so i'm about to go up there and print out um my id card it printed out but it's like very very light so i'm gonna print that out along with the paper they wanted me to print out then i'm gonna head to the post office first get that done and then i'm gonna go to um target and then we're gonna come back to my vision board all of that good stuff so uh, and I hope my stuff is here by the time I get back because I want to start recording my room transformation um, tomorrow or maybe even tonight. I already started a few days ago. That's not going to be in this vlog. That's going to be in a different vlog. Oh, okay. I see FedEx right now. They make it eight rounds. They at the building across from me. <laughs> Do y'all be doing that? Like, baby, I be clocking them. And that's why, like, I hate UPS, but I like their app to where you can like track them i literally had to track them down for a package that i had to change the address on for my vendor and they like my um, apartment number wasn't on there or something i don't know girl but literally i was on the map and it literally tracks exactly where there is so i love the ups app for that but i hate ups as like a shipping company i do like fedex better but i wish fedex had the little tracking i don't think i don't think they got it but yeah, they right across. So I'm about to eat my food. And hopefully by the time I'm done doing that, we'll be ready to get to these stores and they gonna be here with my package outside. I think they're coming with my couch right now. I hear people in the, I looked at the peephole and it seemed like I heard somebody, yeah, Prince is barking. So I think they're here. <laughs> okay, girl, it says it's delivered and they got me a picture, but this is not by my 
door. Where the hell is my couch at? I don't even know where the... Girl, it say delivered at 1.25 p.m. It's 1.33. Where the hell is my... No, meow. Y'all, I kid you not. My package is on the, I stay on the third floor. My package is at the bottom of my apartment complex. In my building, on the complete opposite side of my apartment. How the hell am I about to get this upstairs? This is a couch. That's literally insane. Hello. I am FaceTiming you. My phone is plugged up. Are you not just driving in a straight line right now? Exactly. No. How the hell am I about to get this up the damn stairs? They put my on the opposite side of my This is on the side of the third gate. I stay on the opposite side and they literally just left my right here. Like, I'm about to. <laughs> and you know what? I'm glad I decided not to just go and run my errands because when I was pulling out, I saw FedEx like pull in. And I'm like, okay, well, this is probably my package. Let me just wait. It literally said deliver, and then they put a picture, and they're on the. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get this up the damn stairs? And it literally got my whole address on here and everything. So how can you not find my damn apartment? What am I about to do? told me to come back and wait and this the BS they have and of course you you an hour away <laughs> left at the wrong damn time I didn't check it you just I mean it's 141 I don't I don't know what to do I don't know if maintenance do that So I never recording the good stuff, but I just gave a girl my card. She um, complimented my hair, said so my hair looks so good, and I was like, "Here go a business card." So I always had business cards on y'all. Key tip. <laughs> This is my basket right now, girl. We definitely at like $80 cause Target be taxing, y'all already know. We'll do a haul when I get to the house. I'm trying to find some Christmas bowls though. And I haven't been vlogging because Target is packed out. I need silver bowls though. This has gold in it. Gold, silver, and um, all right, I think that's everything on my list. Wrapping paper, I need some vitamin. I got some moisturizer. Uh, baby wipes, cook. All right, that is all. So it's much later. It's uh, well, it's only 3:47. Yeah, a lot has happened. I don't know what I'll explain, but I know when I was down there with my package and FedEx left my mother freaking package down there, I was completely pissed. Definitely said a lot of words that I shouldn't have said, cause y'all know I've been trying to stop cussing and stuff like that, and I've been doing really well. It's just when something like that, boy, it just get me. So. I am so thankful for the guy at the front. He's not even maintenance or anything. He told me that maintenance men can't actually 
bring things upstairs because of like if they hurt they self liability insurance different things like that so which is understandable okay cool then he gave me a number to fedex to call that number no one answered then i called my actual local fedex like place they answered it was a guy on copy and print he connected me to somebody that was able to help cool talk to wesley the guy he said the people should still be in my area they'll be back in about 15 20 minutes he was really helpful then the guy who actually worked in the front office like not a maintenance guy nothing like actually sit there and answer the calls you know the leasing agent he literally came and helped me thank him like i cannot i cannot thank him enough and he was basically like he couldn't like i think he was like just let me be out there just like that so i had called wesley back told wesley to tell his guys that should have did their job they didn't do their job that they didn't have to come back and do their job okay so i shouldn't have called back but since wesley was really nice to me i wanted to at least call him back and let him know and then he let his uh guys know but his guys got a very very bad review and just ugh. so my love sleep is upstairs. We're gonna worry about that tomorrow, putting that whole room together. Like I said, that's gonna be a whole completely separate vlog. This vlog was supposed to be a really cheerful, good vlog. And girl, it started off horrendous. So I'm currently in Target parking lot right now, um, about to go back home. I got everything on my list. I don't know how or why, but every time I'm up in Target, baby, it, it just, it just, yeah. I spent $95. I saved eight dollars. It say total savings on this trip five dollars, but I had a ten dollar off coupon. So yeah, my gift card payment saved me ten dollars. And honestly, it don't even be saving much or nothing. But girl, I don't even know how I begin out. Like I did actually, I went. I did get a lot of stuff that wasn't on my list. So the stuff that was on my list probably would have been like. 50 60 dollars probably but they had some really cute stocking stuffers in there i know i said i'm gonna wait till next week to actually get stocking stuffers but i couldn't pass up because they was getting really low so i got some cute stocking stuffers for um me well not even me i got some i don't know who i'm gonna give them to i just got some stocking stuffers i'm gonna show y'all a haul but i ain't gonna show y'all everything i got obviously because the people that I'm buying stuff for is probably watching. So I'm about to go ahead and scan my receipt. Who oh, it just seemed like I had a long day and my day didn't even get started until 12 and it's only 350. Like that FedEx thing just completely pissed me off and messed up my whole entire day. But oh, I got my PO box. I think I showed y'all that. Um, it's gonna be linked in this, uh, it's gonna be linked in this video. I'm gonna go back a few videos and try to link it as well um just in case you know people people watch videos from you know years ago so i'm gonna go back as far as i can to link my new p.o box but my p.o box is p.o box 22031 little rock arkansas 72211 if you guys want to send me anything if if you're a brand watching and you want to send me some pr or whatever the case may be that's my p.o box it'll be on the screen in my description box and it'll also be in my bios now as well P.O. Box 22031, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72211. So, just scan my Target receipt on my Fetch app. That's always in my description box as well. I'm trying to give me a $50 Amazon gift card, baby. I am so close to $25 gift card. I got to have 28,000 points. I got 20,800. And then to get $50 gift card, I got to have 55,000 points. So, I'm almost there super excited about it <sighs> so yeah we're about to go home because i'm hungry i didn't work up an appetite um i was gonna go to marshall's as well but since i got a calendar in here i'm just gonna thug out with that one and then the only other thing i was going to marshall's for was some vitamin c serum but i got we're gonna do a haul like i said but i got the um i think it's pronounced lorraine lorraine pousse if i'm pronouncing it right um I got some of her products and I've been hearing a lot about that, like a moisturizer. So I'm super excited to try that out. But yeah, I'm about to go home and we're about to do, oh, I got my stuff printed out as well from my apartment complex, but the pictures aren't as clear as I would want them to be. Like a little bit, it's kind of, if you can see, like obviously it doesn't look bad, but like it's just not as clear as I would like. But I mean, hey, it's free, get it how you live. I'm just gonna go ahead and rock out with this. Um, I didn't buy any ink in Target, like I said I was gonna do, because 
like I said I'm paying for amenities so we get free copy and print um, of like 30 pages a month at my um, apartment complex like at the office so I'm utilizing that um, and yeah we're just gonna have to rock out so I'm about to actually start utilizing my amenities as well tomorrow I'll probably know because I'm gonna be recording all day anyways I'm gonna start utilizing my amenities like using the um, study rooms so like go in there and edit and using the movie theater like I'm paying for that so I'm about to start utilizing it so yeah we about to um go home I also want to show y'all when I went and got my nails done nails done yesterday they gave me this free bottle of lotion it's their collagen massage lotion and honey pearl two-in-one warming sensation aloe vera and vitamin e girl it just smells so good it smells like I'm in the nail salon so I've been keeping it in my car for right now um it haven't really got cold yet here in Little Rock Arkansas so yeah I'm gonna keep it here and then when it start getting cold I'm gonna take it out but I like to keep it in here so I can have like some lotion to put on my hands um did I already put on hand sanitizer yeah I did so yeah we're about to go home because girl it's it's getting packed like real packed and I think I told y'all I should have been recording I should have pressed record before I went and get her the car but she was like your hair is so cute and I was like you know thank you and then um and something told me it's it's funny because it's like the devil be trying me but then God is like girl I got your back just like this morning I was just gonna leave and let FedEx do what it you no know, do what they do and then I'm just gonna come out go to the stores go get my PO box all of that something told me to stay at home for me to turn around my car and stay at the house something told me to do that just like today something told me to um what was I saying um oh something told me to put my business cards in my purse I usually only carry business cards in my um like big uh tote bag or whatever no baby like come on now I don't got time oh you're a big boy go just go just go oh people piss me off Something told me to put my business cards in this little bitty bag. Lo and behold, a girl was like, oh, you know, your hair is so pretty. Da, 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 da. And then I'm like, you know what? I put my cards in here for a reason. Let me stop being scary and stop being chicken. Like, I am so shy. <laughs> and I'm like, let me just go get her this business card. Because, I mean, who else is going to promote my brand besides me? Like, who else is going to promote your brand besides you? And this is the reason why I walk around with my hair done in my own hair it's because I'm my walking brand, so I need to stop being chicken and just, you know, do what it do. But yeah, that, that's my little TED talk. Um, it's just, something's just been telling me to do stuff all day. And it's just like, thank you, God, because the, the, the devil thought he had me, but he didn't. Okay? And that's just that on it. <sighs> so they've been a long three hours. <laughs> like ain't even nothing going on it's just been a long three hours man and then the stores are so packed like i just wanted to say um someone has said how did you get over like filming in public or whatever if the store is packed i'm not gonna film like i will film a little bit but it's like i don't want everybody looking at me trying to figure out what i'm doing you know like just, just let me be but yeah it, it just depends on the day the store how i'm feeling if i have people with me like if i'm filming in public or something by myself i am definitely a little bit more shy which i don't understand why when i was in college like i can go back to my older videos girl i filmed everything and everywhere i didn't care and now it's so weird because it's like we're in the age of where content creating filming youtubers and stuff is more people are more aware of it like you know it's not like 2016 2017 like you know what are you doing youtuber you're filming now a lot of people are doing it so it's like i don't know why i'm scared to just whip out my camera because people will know what i'm doing you know but when it's when it's too, when it's too crowded i just can't like it still just gives me anxiety because i am an introvert i'm shy like i don't want and which is crazy because i'm a leo i'm a leo i love the attention like baby look at me but it's like i like attention from afar you know like i, I don't know how to explain it like i don't know i don't know how to explain it but yes i still get shy at times but you just gotta you just gotta do it like i still be telling myself that like girl just whip out your camera and just record like you gotta get this content okay 
<sighs> but yeah, that's my little TED Tyler. I'm tired already. I'm hungry. I could really use a smoothie right now, but uh, baby, I didn't just spend $100 in Target. I'm not buying nothing else. I don't get paid until next week from YouTube and my actual job. So yeah, and I also I'm gonna also finish Christmas shopping um next week as well. Um, I just bought a little bit of stocking stuffers next week. I'm gonna finish shopping for stocking stuffers, and then I also need to um finish buying some stuff on Amazon. You know, Amazon is two day shipping, so I'm gonna buy some stuff on like the 20th, 21st. It'll be here by that weekend, and then I'll be done with Christmas shopping. I wanted to go inside the stores as well because when I went and bought that um Prince poop bags and my Michael my mom's bag literally it was so many gift sets in there so i cannot wait to go back to marshall's tj maxx you know all of those places for gift sets target has some gift sets as well so yeah i'm just gonna finish my christmas shopping next week i'm gonna wake up really early in the morning because around this time the evening time the stores be packed the morning time doesn't really be as packed as the evening time so i like to just go go in there while nobody in there so i can just shop read the labels and stuff and take my time because even today i was trying to read the labels and you know just the products that's you know ingredients that's in the products and stuff and it's just like too many people is in one aisle like i just can't deal with that so it's like people trying to set it move get through and then me trying to vlog it, it just be too much so i'm gonna go in the morning time next week and try to figure it out because it, it's the holidays it just be too much girl and also the p.o box I only got one key you're supposed to get two keys so she gotta order me a new key and then she gonna set that up in my um little box or whatever so yeah i'm excited if you guys want to send me a letter i would love to read it um i'm the type of person who keep letters and like cherish them like certain birthday cards just everything i have like this big box that i had bought from like joann's or michael's or something a long time ago and it's kind of like my keepsake box that i just keep special things in and every so often maybe like once or twice a year i would go up in there and then uh like maybe like open everything up and like read it maybe once a year open everything but like yeah i just love I don't know it's just like I'm more of a sentimental type of person like with gift giving especially I don't really need the you know latest whatever like Chanel bags and stuff like that yes materialistic things are cool but I'm so much more of a sentimental type of person to where like I showed y'all that subscriber gave me that my first ever like subscriber letter or note or whatever I've literally had that since 2021 and I'm literally going to keep it forever so it's like I don't know I'm, I'm just that type of person so things like that mean so much more to me than you know like a new bag or something <sighs> so yeah girl I'm almost home I've been talking to y'all this whole <laughs> this whole ride it was all started raining let me get my egg up in the house because girl today is just not it I don't know what it is and then, baby, what, 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 where the rain come from uh, anyway? Let me get my behind up in the house. Let me get my little Target bag. Hey, y'all. It is 5.42 in the evening. Pitch black outside. Already, as y'all can see back there. And I really, really, really hate that. Um... Oh, girl, my phone right here. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's 5.42. Um, and I'm about to give y'all a little Tarjay haul so I can go ahead and do what I gotta do tonight because today has been really, 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 really stressful for the most of it. So we're trying to turn that around. So my first Tarjay bag, I got some more panty liners. And then I also got a little bitty thing of the um, micellar cleansing water to remove my makeup. I wasn't about to pay $9 for the big bottle. And then I walked around and the little stocking stuffers, they had these. So I bought one because I don't really wear a lot of makeup. And baby, I don't need that big bottle for like $10 right now. So I got that <clears throat> as well as, well, we'll get through it. I wanted to get the Ordinary, y'all know, my other item from the Ordinary brand was the, um, whatever has the nice cinnamon in it and whatever, I got that. This is the toning solution. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this one, so I decided to pick that up. 
needed some more honey pot wash. I got sensitive. And then this is one of the La Roche Pousset that I got. This was also in the stock and stuff first. So I just decided to try it. It's a um, moisturizing cream and I really needed another moisturizer. So I decided to pick that up. And then this is the little burnt burnt umber paint that I picked up to paint my board for my vision board. I like to always paint my vision board. So I got that one. And then I got some more stock and stuffers that I can't show y'all <laughs> for other people. And then I also wanted to try out this e.l.f. Um, primer. I saw, I forgot her name, but she did a lot of hygiene stuff. And I saw her use this and I wanted to try it out. Next bag I got, I needed some more of these little cotton rounds. I got a lot of cotton balls. I needed cotton rounds. I like to use these to take off my makeup. Hence the reason why I needed this. Also needed to re-up on some tampons and pads. These are the two brands I like. I also usually buy Honey Pot, but the Honey Pot ones that I needed in like the smaller size they didn't have. This is like my second next favorite. And then I also buy these because the other tampons just don't be working. I got the off brand of makeup wipes because yeah, I'm not paying that much to throw away a wipe in the trash. Needed some more glue sticks. I like to glue my pictures on my vision board. It just makes it last a lot longer. And then also I saw these little Rayelle heating patches for your menstrual cramps. I am obviously right now on my cycle and I want to try these out. It came with a pack of three. And then if you buy three stocking stuffers, you get one free or buy two, get one free, something like that. So I decided to try these out. Super excited about that. And then, I don't know if I was telling y'all about this. I remember like talking to myself about it, but I needed a new calendar. This was there for like five or six dollars. Um, y'all know I'm trying to make my office space be more of an office space. And I'm trying to actually really utilize my guest room and just do everything content business related in there and not like outside. So I needed a new calendar. The calendar that I normally use, um, I like to hang it up on the wall. This one you can also hang up right here or I can just keep it on the desk, but I needed something that I can actually see. I'm not a digital planning type of girly. Certain things I'll do digital, but like for the long haul and like for the long run, I can't really do stuff digital. Like I have to have it pen and paper. Like I'm just old school. So. I got this. I am trying to do better for the next year. Um, since I was able to pump out 10 videos every single day for the first 10 days of December, I'm pretty sure I can probably do <laughs> Sunday and Thursday, my normal uploading schedule um, starting in January. I'm still going to post in December, but I don't know. I was going to take it to only posting Sundays, but we'll see because I'm trying to kind of do a little something different with my channel like i would like to do weekly vlogging um and then post like that vlog every sunday and then just have whatever vlogs in between but then it's like i kind of would like to just you know vlog when i have something to vlog you know so i don't know we'll see i know a lot of people like mckenna she does only weekly vlogging like it's just a weekly vlog and maybe like some hygiene stuff here and there but you are going to expect a two hour long vlog from her every sunday that's the same as uh who is it like Aaliyah's face like you know they'll do like a weekly vlog so i don't know i was thinking of maybe doing something like that and then just having you know videos in between that so i don't know we'll see but that's why i needed this because i really needed to actually sit down and plan and stick to a schedule I've been doing really well with my word of 2023, which was consistency. Um, I've been I've been consistent for the most part of the year, but for the last like week and a half, two weeks, I've been getting up every morning, making my bed every time I get out of my bed. I've been doing really good to not leave dishes in the sink. I will either put them in the dishwasher, you know, clean them out, or completely clean them and then you know leave them on the counter to dry. I've been doing really well with that. Um, I just started back with my skincare. I've been doing really good with the skincare for a few days that's why i did want to get this and try this out so i'm just trying to get into a routine before the new year start like i just feel like why wait like why do you gotta wait till january first you know and it's like people oh i'm gonna i'm doing it i'm doing next year i'm doing next year i'm gonna start january why not start now to build your better habits so that is what i've been doing that's what i've been trying to do and so far it's been going really really well so i'm excited to see what this can bring me with consistency wise so my last bag i got i needed some more bows y'all saw this in target these are 
<laughs> kind of like a rose gold, gold, silver, and white. I feel like this will be really, really cute. And then I also got some oop, wrapping paper, which was $5. Um, definitely don't feel like this is worth $5 because it's only 25 square feet. But yeah, got this. And then got some more stock and stuffers that I can't show. And then the last thing I got is just this poster board, which we're actually about to paint right now. Like I said, I like to paint my boards just to kind of customize it instead of buying like a black board or just leaving it all white. Um, every year, like I said, I paint it differently. And then I always keep these brushes. I bought these from Target years ago. And then I just reuse these brushes. And then I'll either get a new color every year or... I will always just paint my board some type of color. I think two years I've had it the same color, but yeah. So we're gonna get to painting. This is brown. I don't want it to be like dark, dark brown, but we'll see what color it's gonna be. So I got a lot of these. I'm gonna go ahead and go for, kinda wanna go ahead and do the big one just to kinda get the painting over with. So we're gonna use the big one. And these, normally I just throw these out. Sometimes I try to clean it. If not, these are only like, this whole pack is like $5 at Target. And I've had it for like two years now. So we're going to get to painting this. And then we're going to leave it to dry while I go take prints out. And then put up all of my new stuff. And then we're going to work on the vision board. I than anticipated but it actually i think matches my um hair brand like logo really well that was what i was going for since that room is going to be kind of basically that like that's my well that's my logo for my hair business if y'all can see that it's like the same color browns that i'm loving and i just love brown right now so this is 2024 vision board. We're gonna go right it up here on this one. Why you talking to me like you be like why you always wanna be right? Oh, I just need the time that you came from. I just need to know that it's still mine. And the way that you can't say my name don't seem right. I need you to get got right then. <laughs> Do I not remember this movie like that? I remember watching this as a kid, so really hearing what they saying is hilarious. So I like to spread all of my pictures out before I actually glue them down to know which placement I want to place them um, and kind of just see how I want to actually visualize it by looking at it every day. And most of the time I put the like the most wanted things in the middle. Um, I heard that a few years ago like to put whatever you want most in the middle <laughs> like around the middle part so disregard that. 
<laughs> so yeah I just place them how I want to see them and then I'll start to glue them down This part of the movie give me every time, girl. She better sing. So I like to set all of my stuff out and then for stuff like this, I like to write my name. Usually I would type my name on there to make it look more cute, but I'll just cross it out, write my name on there. Um, to get my man. I'm going to find my man. <laughs> and these, they already crossed out the name, but normally I would write my brand name on here. But yeah, I like to get everything set out and then I like to glue it down or tape it down. So what are some of y'all's 2024 goals or what are some things you're going to put on your vision board? I don't really care to kind of like show the pictures, but I don't care to like really just go in depth and like explaining things, you know, because it's like when you put it out there, like some people like just hold you accountable, which is good. But it's like, you know, everything is on your own time and, and God's time. And so it's like, sometimes I like to share stuff. Sometimes I don't, but I don't care to like show the pictures. I'm just not going to give like a whole explanation. But if y'all feel comfortable with sharing maybe one or two of your goals for next year, something that you look forward to doing or starting to do or something that you want to do more or less of comment down below, I would love to know. <laughs> um, y'all already saw my vision board. I'm pretty sure you can tell just by looking at the pictures about what I'm looking forward to and what my goals are and plans are, prayers are, all of that for 2024. Um, I'm feeling really good about this year. 2023 wasn't a bad year. It was good. But 2024, I do feel like it's definitely what everybody say. This is my year. <laughs> but I do feel like it's going to be a really good year. And I pray that it is going to be a good year for me and all of you that are viewing, viewing this right now. Um, I pray that God blesses us in so many different ways, shapes and forms, opens so many doors for us, whatever that may be. A new car, um, reconnecting with the old friend, family, different relationships, just anything you're looking forward to in 2024. So don't forget to comment down below. And if you made it this far, girl, you better go ahead and subscribe and join the family, okay? <laughs>
stuff you know that's old that i don't use anymore or care to use anymore putting in my new products so i can start using these every day i am trying to get better with my skincare and actually do it on a daily basis if not daily <laughs> every other day like i wash my face every day but like sometimes not even gonna lie i don't like do the whole cleanse my face every day all four or like four or five steps so i am trying to have everything just laid out because you know out of sight out of mind so i need to put everything in this one drawer that i want to use on an everyday basis and i also have sunscreen but my sunscreen is in my guest bathroom i keep it in that bathroom because that's the last bathroom that i go to when i do my hair um i do my hair in my guest bathroom and then i'll put on my sunscreen after i'm done doing my hair these are the cotton pads that i showed y'all this little bitty cotton pad holder thingy is actually from walmart um i just always restock it i really like it um it was like two or three dollars in the little like i don't know section where the cotton balls and stuff is at and i literally picked it up and got it and i fell in love with it all good, chuck a look around, find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. Well, it's 8.59, 9 o'clock. I'm about to curl my hair because when I put my little flexi rod thingy on, my hair was straight and it wasn't curled. So um most of my curls fell obviously because like i didn't curl it previously it was just bone straight so i'm gonna actually curl it with the curling iron and then i'm gonna pin curl it actually so it can kind of stay and then i'm also about to try to frame my face a little bit hopefully i don't mess up me bundles because girl we paid a lot for these even though you know I own the brand, but she has sent me a lot of these. Sorry for the music. I'm screen recording to get free music for y'all. <laughs> so I'm just going to use one of these new ones. I got a lot and I'm going to use this for my hair. I'm just trying to have a nice night. The waiter brought a check for the meal. She said, babe, I think there was a typo. Nah, girl, I got it. That's like, though, I can show you bigger things than that. It's going to be a minute till I'm back. Let me get your images that last. Amex had a limit in the past. I had plenty women in the past. I done plenty sinning in the past. Y'all don't need to know, but you can ask. Sticking on your backstage pass. All access. What I'm going for is to be able to do this and then, you know, got a little, little body up in there instead of just straight down. I curl her, she's going to be giving body. Okay. So this right here is my real hair. This is my real hair. I got my real hair cut short, so I'm going to start. That right here. I'm cut just a little bit more. If you a hairstylist watching me do this, sorry in advance. <laughs> sorry in advance. I hope I get another Carlinar. <clears throat> for Christmas with a bigger barrel. I have one on my wish list, the T3, because baby, I like big, loose curls. And this one is fine. I got this one from Ulta. The curling iron is really nice. It's just, I would like to have a bigger barrel to one, get done with my hair a lot faster. And two, <clears throat> this is a lot of hair on the floor. <laughs> and two, because it just it's just easier <clears throat> and i need to, I, sh I need to go to like sally's or somewhere to get some hairspray i want that one hairspray that comes in like a white can and the writing is black i know sophiology like to uh, use it and there's some other people that like to use it speaking of sophiology she is baby booming right now talk about a christian bbl <laughs> and it's just funny because it's like i love watching her but like i definitely did not see that coming because she, you know, did that whole weight loss thing or whatever. I'm going to put my glove on because I know this is going to be hot. I'm going to do the first one without the glove because we already here now. But I'm going to put my glove on. So I know it's going to be hot. And I'm not a good pen curler by any means. 
So, we're just gonna go like that. It's literally not even, we're, we're, we're just gonna go like that. I'm gonna put one the other way as well. Just to make sure it don't come loose. All right, but um, yeah, I've been following her for a while, like literally since she was uh maybe like her 18th or 19th birthday so a wild girl and i definitely did not see that coming because <laughs> she literally i used to always say like she literally looked amazing before weight loss but obviously after you can definitely tell the difference but even after she did her own weight loss like girl that's just crazy i like to put on the glove when i'm curling here because yeah this thing be hot and I have definitely dropped it before so having on this glove can ensure that if I do drop it I can catch it probably I don't drop it though <sighs> and it is only 9 21 but when I'm done with my hair we're gonna do a little bit of skincare as well with my new items that I got and then I plan to wake up tomorrow my alarm will go off at 8. I would like to be up at 9 or by 9 to go ahead and start vlogging for this new couch. Because I want to do a TikTok and YouTube and Reel and stuff like that. And then my wallpaper, when the wallpaper comes, that's going to be a task in itself. And that's going to take me at least like two, maybe three hours to do. So I would like to have what I can in the room. Like the room completely clean, everything already put up. And then all I got to do is just add wallpaper and then the room can be done. So I'm super excited for this transformation. Um, I do wanna get a neon sign that actually says my business name. So I am looking on Etsy for that. I found somebody that I want to do it. I just haven't um, reached out to them yet or anything like that. All right, pin curls kind of working, girl. I don't think I've ever done pin curls before. And if I did, Definitely was, was not successful. And people are following my business page. Thank y'all. I've been getting a lot of followers on there. Destiny. Do y'all ever feel like, what y'all do y'all hair or something like, oh, like you didn't already did this one side, like, oh, it's looking good or it's gonna look good. And then you realize that you still gotta do the other side. <laughs> like, girl. And let's not talk about my little pin curls because, mm, yeah. But, I'm super excited. I have one, two, three, four, five uh, little pins left. And then I also have two of these kind and then two of these kind. And this little wrap that you see me using, I did get it from Amazon. I'll have one linked down below in my Amazon storefront. Um, absolutely love it. I usually like to like curl my hair and then just wrap it. And then every single time I wrap it, I use it every night if I have my hair curled. And the curls come out flawless every single morning. Like right now, I'm looking in the mirror at my curls and they look amazing. So I definitely recommend this product. I use it all the time. I rave about it on literally all platforms. So quick skin care, my current skin care products is that CeraVe, I like to use that as my cleanser. And I also like another cleanser that a company has sent me, but I forgot the name of it. So if I can like find their website, or whatever, I'll link it. I like to pat my face dry with the paper towel and then I'm going in with this toner. Absolutely love the toner. I saw some people say it was kind of strong for their skin. It was really fine on my skin. like. It was perfect. I mean, I like it. I haven't had any problems. Then I like to go ahead with the other Ornay brand that I got, the Nice Cinnamide and whatever else is in here. I don't know if you, it was something that they said don't use at the same time. 
so I don't think that was this but so far so good and then I went ahead and used my new moisturizer I will like to say this is me testing the focus <laughs> I will like to say this product is amazing but baby a little goes a long way like look how much is on my face this is very thick the product says for dry skin and baby i got dry skin and i am in love with this product it is so thick but honey you need maybe less than even a dime size to put on your face and it is just amazing i love that vaseline i usually get that from dollar tree i get the red one then i get the clear one but yeah that's my little skincare routine that I do. This is normally what I do in the morning. At night, I usually do a little bit more, but I was ready to go to bed. So I want to end this vlog here. If you hear something that is my heater, um, thank you guys for, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I will see y'all in my next one, which will definitely be my um, guest room, studio, YouTube, office <laughs> transformation. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Until my next video, I will see you at least then. Bye guys. <laughs>